What's up? This is ABC Trading, and in this episode, we'll be looking at this tool, the RSI scanner. So, if uh, you use the RSI in your strategy, or if you want to include it, then uh, this is the video for you. Stick around so you can learn where to get this free tool, how to use it, and uh, everything about it. All right, so let's get started. Let me just start by taking it off the chart so that you can see how we set it up. So the first thing we get is the settings at, in the input section. Here, this is where you'll fill in uh, the RSI period. You can fill any figure that you'd like, but I'll just stick with the default, which is 14. And once we're done with that, the next thing, uh, we set the symbols that we want the indicator to search through. So it can be all symbols. This includes all the currency pairs, including major and minor pairs. You can set it to major pairs only or minor pairs only. We can also set the time frame, as you can see here. And we can also set the level of the RSI that we want to find. It can be overbought at 80 or 70, over sold at 30, or 20. So let's just do a quick demonstration so that you can see how it works. So in this demonstration, we're looking through all the symbols in the 30 minute time frame for any RSI pair that is above 70. Once you're done setting this up, you just press scan, and it will see through all the currency pairs and will remain with the ones which have met the condition. So initially, we're looking through all the symbols in the 30 minute time frame to look for symbols where the RSI is above 70. So these charts that have been opened are the ones which meet this condition. That one, that one, and so on. Let's just close all of these charts. And we'll do another test. This time we'll look for oversold in uh, the 15 minute time frame. All symbols. I currently just have this chart open. We'll scan. It is looking through all the currency pairs. And we've been left with four new charts open. The Aussie card oversold below 30, the Aussie dollar, pound dollar, and the Kiwi dollar. All, all of them meet this criteria. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. And also, if you'd like to see the full list of the new symbols that have been found, just go to the toolbox and the experts section. So the last list here is the one that we just got. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, the basic idea behind it is uh, it will see through all the currency pairs and uh, it will find and open all the ones that, met, that meet the criteria that you have specified here. And in addition to opening the, the new charts, it will also make a full list of all the currencies it has found in uh, the expert section of uh, the toolbox. And uh, yeah, that is basically how it works. So if you'd like to see other types of scanners, a Fibonacci scanner, a MACD scanner, or any other type, then uh, just comment down below. And uh, to get this specific scanner, the RSI scanner, then uh, just visit abctrading.xyz. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. It will be this website here. Then you can scroll to the bottom and uh, you'll find the download link there. So that is what I had for you in this episode. Uh, if you like this kind of content, then uh, subscribe. Like this video if you found it helpful. And uh, see you next time.